Hi everyone, actually some days ago I published uh, my first feelings about Mertomo Tag Manager and I've been very lucky because I received a comment from um, someone telling me uh, thanks Ronan, very good video to understand the Mertomo Tag Manager so I really appreciate actually to, to receive such a comment and um, I asked him actually about uh, what other tutorial he may uh, be interested in having a look at and um, actually, I was very surprised to see that it's uh, the need of additional tags, uh, additional templates such as uh, Facebook Pixel and Google AdWords. So I'm going to explain a little bit um, how to do that with uh, Matomo Tag Manager. So I'm just going to do something basic, which is how can I integrate the Facebook Pixel within Matomo Tag Manager? So the basic things to know about uh, Tag Manager in general is that they offer you the possibility to do that already through the use of custom HTML tag. Just gonna really take this uh, example about the Facebook pixel. So let's say that I'm on Facebook, right? I created my uh, marketing campaign and I want to add a conversion tracking code. So I'm going through the process. Here it's in French, but it's basically uh, the Facebook pixel code. So I'm just going to uh, copy it and going to use it within Matomo Tag Manager. So as you can see right now, I don't have any, any tags. So I'm just going to create one here and say, oh, I want uh, to create a tag. Uh, but actually, this Facebook uh, tag is not a Matomo one, neither a Google Analytics one. But that's what we call a custom HTML. Actually, the name custom HTML is not really the, the good one, I would say. It's more like a custom tag. And in this custom tag, I can just basically copy and paste and just call it here, the Facebook pixel. Actually, I did not uh, try to use that with the, uh, the custom image tag, but I guess I could have done the same thing. If it's a pixel, that should work the same way. And uh, yeah, yeah, so basically just after that, I need to define the trigger that I wish. So if it's a given page or if it's by clicking on a certain link, uh, then I can use one of those triggers. So in my case, I'm just going to use uh, the page view uh, trigger. I'm not going to specify any extra stuff here. I'm not going to make like a, a great trigger. So that will be for, um, uh, that will be a fake one, of course. And yeah, what is good with the custom HTML tag is that you can insert such as actually the global template within Matomo Tag Manager. Um, I could basically say, okay, instead of using uh, this tracking code here, well, what are you doing? Okay, I could uh, just insert a variable here. So I could basically here go and grab, uh, I don't know, that could be the ID site or the click ID or whatever uh, you want about the value that you would like to push here. So it's not because it's a custom HTML that actually you cannot customize it. Okay, so through the use of uh, the different uh, variable that you can use within Matomo Tag Manager, you can actually uh, customize, customize a custom HTML tag. So here I have my Facebook pixel code. I define my trigger. So if I create my tag, and that I'm publishing uh, my version with, I'm going to just say with Facebook, with Facebook, not create and publish it. Then actually on my, on my website, if I do something like this, I will have actually my uh, Facebook pixel tag, which will be um, used. So just going to use the debug mode in order for all of us to see it. So, okay, so let's take this one out and, yups. Okay, so here I have my debug mode, which is on, which is telling me, oh, actually the Facebook pixel fired. So um, what's in it? And if I look uh, within the data layer, I will probably see if I move this part up. No, I'm not gonna see it. Actually, it wasn't here or wasn't here. No. Um, 
actually trigger so it has been triggered that's great this tag has been fired and can i get more information oh da 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 okay, okay so as you can see here the condition is met for trigger page view so blah 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 and everything has been triggered so the basic code that i just copy and paste has been properly um, has been properly fired so yeah that's the way you can integrate actually the facebook pixel there's no difficulty it's just a copy and paste to do and if you want to add some extra layers of uh, customization you can use variable for that so that's the thing that you need to know and um, the only issue that you can uh, face here is um, if uh, you are afraid that when you make your uh, copy and paste here then uh, you are doing a typo or you are trying to hack it a little bit and then uh, you are killing your website okay that will be the main uh, the main drawbacks and this is exactly what matomo is telling you when you go within the settings here settings and that you look for uh, the tag manager settings so if i go where is the tag manager tag manager should be maybe in the general settings i can see it mm -hmm. okay yeah so here yeah, within the general setting you have a tag manager and here what are they saying you is uh, enable custom templates means that actually you can either use the custom html tag and the custom image tag and the prime with uh, both of them is that if you are making a typo then uh, you're gonna probably kill your website so if you untick this one and you click save normally uh, we should not have the possibility to pick up the custom HTML tag or the custom image tag. Let's see how it goes, if it works or not. Oh, yeah, as you can see, the custom HTML tag actually have been removed. So it means that the custom image tag, oh, it's just the image URL, so you have no chance of breaking your website. Okay, that's it. So this is what they are saying when they are telling you, okay, you cannot enable uh, the custom template. It means that actually uh, you get more security because the custom HTML tag can basically uh, kill your website if you make a typo or if uh, you are adding an extra layer of script. So let's say that uh, you care about your security and that you do not want actually to use any custom HTML tag. How could I get here an extra template? So this is what we call template here. Matomo Analytics and Google Anal uh, Universal Analytics are, are templates here. Uh, how is it possible to get one uh, saying Facebook pixel tags? In order to do so, um, you need to have, um, I, I'm, I, I do not like the word uh, developer because it means that actually uh, you are always dependent from someone, whereas actually if you start coding on your own, probably you will uh, end up with something. But uh, here what uh, Matomo is saying on the official website is that if you feel that actually some uh, templates are missing, such as the one of Facebook, you can create your own uh, your own template and that's well that's actually the the right uh, page custom tag and this is what they are saying here is uh, if you are frustrated because you do not have uh, the tag that you want for example the facebook pixel tag then uh, here is the documentation in order to create your own tag as a template and then install it within matomo tag manager in order to have it as a result facebook and uh, Google AdWords, for example, or any uh, other extra tag, then actually you need to, to follow this full documentation in order to be able to uh, integrate it after that to your Matomo Tag Manager. So that's uh, that's important. Then actually, um, I guess you can have a look on GitHub. And on GitHub, they are already showing that two uh, tickets have been opened. One in order to add the Facebook pixel tag uh, for Matomo Tag Manager and another one for Google AdWords conversion tag. And pretty sure that actually in the coming days or weeks, uh, some extra tickets will be uh, written and people will work on it thanks to the documentation which have been developed here in order to have actually uh, extra tags integrated within Matomo Tag Manager. So what I could say to um, Alvaro Moreno here 
is that a good chance uh, for him to see Facebook Pixel and Google AdWords coming soon, actually on Matomo Tag Manager because they're already in the oven. Um, if I were him, actually, basically, I will open some extra tags describing what it's doing and what are the different elements that you wish to have within uh, the custom template. So uh, what you need to know is, yeah, uh, when you request actually a new feature in Matomo Tag Manager, in Matomo in general, uh, you need to describe a little bit what are your expectations. So basically, uh, here for Matomo Analytics, the expectation which have been defined when the template have been created was to have uh, the possibility here to uh, custom from the template the URL, then the ID of the site, then to have the following features, and so on and so forth. And probably some people will say at some point that actually some feature are missing in this template and they are going to run a new ticket on GitHub in order to get uh, the information uh, added to the template and, and to improve the experience of Matomo Tag Manager. OK, so that's it for this video. So in order to integrate Facebook Pixel and Google AdWords to Matomo Tag Manager, you can already do it, um, unless actually your uh, Matomo Tag Manager uh, installation has been secure. And in this case, uh, you need to wait a little bit for the tags here to be definitely validated as a custom template. And then uh, I guess you will need to update uh, the plugin or either to code it on your own, thanks to the documentation, which is already uh, included within the Matomo website. Uh, I really hope that actually this video helped and that you understood uh, how the custom uh, template uh, is working within Matomo Tag Manager. Thanks for watching.